Hello YouTube, this is Navsec7 bringing you the last part of this three part Iron Man 2 concept series Mission Tech Armor Toys R Us exclusive review. Say that five times fast. Say it, don't type it. Um, we're just going to finish this up with the Iron Man Sandstorm Armor. The idea behind that being when he has to go to the desert this armor can fight through a sandstorm. Boom. And here he is. Um, this is actually a figure that I was aware of, I just never saw. Um, it was like a stealth flight or something like that. Um, it was originally all black um, with the idea of being it was aerodynamic. It was kind of like a stealth fighter kind of deal. And so here it is. Uh, once again, these are from the first Iron Man movie. So these guys are not the three... Um, and three quarters inch tall figures. These guys are the six inch size figures. Uh, retail for about ten ninety nine on their own. Once again, though, this set comes in a set of um, twenty four ninety nine only at Toys R Us or e eBay or probably Big Bad Toy Store or something. Um, anyways, his big gimmick is that he has a jetpack. You see wings. You can get a button, and that's about all you get out of that. Um, they only go out so far. I would have liked it if, you know, they were like real wings and, you know, they came out like about that high, but they don't. But it's not enough to bother me because I don't care about the jetpack. Um, you know, it's an accessory. This is really the way I like it because, I mean, he looks just fine like this. Um, he does have universal shoulders, but as a change though, um, they bolted the shoulder pieces on here so his shoulder panels don't bump up. Um, and they're actually double serrated because you can, if you want to, you can bring them down like that. And he kind of has like Knight from Kamen Rider Dragon Knight or Kamen Rider Ryuki. Kind of has that style or you can bring them up and you know, you can pose these serrated however you like. I like to tuck them in just a little bit, kind of give them some layers. And his paint job is this kind of sandy gold with the cherry red. But it's all kind of scuffed and uh, marked here and there. Obviously with the idea being that since he's going in sand, the sand's scratching everything up. Um, this is my favorite set out, or my favorite guy out of the set. Um, he has all the same articulation. He's got the universal hips, the universal shoulders with the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wristy wristy, foot foot, and I like it. Um, these pieces do move um, to help you angle um, his um, hips how you want. It's also got the double jointed knee, which is incredibly tight, which is how I like my toys. I like my toys tight. Um, I like everything tight. Um, get your mind out of the gutter. Anyways, here he is. Uh, this figure, um, I give um, another 8.5 out of 10. Um, this guy alone, this guy, com well, I shouldn't say alone actually, because this guy combined with the um, Arctic Crusader fi figure um, makes for an awesome set. Um, which then turns the um, Star Flare armor into just, you know, a kind of cool bonus. Um, these guys actually do look pretty cool together. Um, as a whole, I do recommend this set. $24.99, I think that is an excellent price for these guys. I mean, because here they are next to the current wave of toys. So as you can see, they're significantly bigger. And they are really cool. Um, so if you missed, um, you know, the original paint schemes of these guys when they first came around, this is an excellent chance to pick them up again. Um, I mean, if you're sitting here looking and you like two out of the three, definitely get the set. If you're looking at these guys and none of, and neither of these three are really doing it for you, don't then don't get it. But if you like just two out of the three. Definitely go to your nearest Toys R Us to find it, or go on to Big Bad Toy Store, or eBay, or Amazon, or ToysRUs.com. I'm sure someone will have it. Um, I would highly recommend the set. As a whole, I do give the set a 9 out of 10. Um, just collectively, these guys are really cool, and they even look like a cool team. You know, if you want to pretend like this is a team of, you know, Iron Man helpers or something. You know, you got the big muscle guy, um, the kind of tech geeky guy, and the hotshot ace. You know, you got the whole dynamic going. Anyways, this is Novel 6-7, and I'm signing out.